ओके अरविंद सामी गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर ओके हाउ आर यू यस सर आई एम फाइन सर डूइंग वेल ओके फाइन सो यू आर बेसिकली फ्रॉम मदुराई राइट यस सर आई एम फ्रॉम मदुराई तमिलनाडु ओके कैन यू प्लीज टेल अस समथिंग अबाउट मदुराई व्हाट यू लाइक इन मदुराई यस सर श्योर सर सर मदुराई इज एन एंशिएंट सिटी व्हेन इन तमिलनाडु एंड आल्सो इन इंडिया इट वाज रूल्ड बाय पांडियास एंड कलाबरास रूलर्स and still now it's an ancient city uh, being uh, in uh, in its position in madurai the famous thing is the uh, madurai meenakshi temple sir it's a well, it's a wonderful uh, temple in madurai it was built by pandyas and later developed by nayaks and the most thing i like in madurai is uh, jasmine flowers and uh, the jigardanda which we it's a uh, recipe sir. okay good 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 so among chera cholas and pandyas who are the oldest i think it's the uh, pandyas sir okay why madurai is famous uh, from literature point of view because we have heard that uh, especially from tamil nadu people have affinity towards their language right tamil language and all so can you please explain yes sir, yes, sir. basically sir there are in madurai we have a uh, tamil sangam sir which is a code for a uh, tamil language the three codes have been uh, in madurai sir and the last third one is present now in madurai sir and there is an uh, Uh, Tamil Sangam in Madurai, uh, sir. The two are in the old uh, Madurai, which is known as Kabada Buram, uh, which is uh, in the lost land. So Tamil uh, Ma- Madurai has an uh, greatest affinity towards its literature works and right from the Sangam uh, period, sir. Okay. And the Pandyas uh, have been uh, giving greater affinity towards the language. So Madurai is famous, sir. Good, good, good. So this is your first SSB you are trying, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So how do you feel when you are here in SSB? Yes, sir. I feel really excited, sir, and uh, this is a new experience for me, getting around new friends from all over the part of India, sir. Okay, fine. Now you are in uh, Bhopal, so can you please tell what is speciality about Bhopal? Yes, sir. I have uh, heard something. Uh, some uh, places in Bhopal, like uh, uh, Bhojman uh, Parks nearby, and near to the SSB Center, there is a lake called uh, Upper Lake, sir. Mm-hmm. And there are several uh, temples in uh, Bhopal, sir. I have heard. what it is okay okay fine uh, so this is the first time you're trying ssb and uh, you are try- you have given as army as a preference and that to short service commission right so uh, yes, when sir. did this idea come in your mind that you want to try for this armed forces yes, sir sure i will sir sir uh, basically right uh, at the end of my graduation i don't have any about idea about the defense sir. and then uh, when i searched for jobs i came to a point that uh, i am not uh, a uh, person of sitting in a company so i thought uh, are different uh, types and uh, i have a curiosity over different uh, different sort of things and i started searching about it and came to know about the various types of entries being in that time uh, uh, to do curiosity i have uh, learned lot and uh, it became a passion for me so i started trying to give up uh, entries uh, like ss tickets okay you'd never tried for nda exams no sir i have not i have not been known at that point of time sir Okay. I'm not aware of that. Those exams. Okay. Fine. Fine. So, which are all the exams you're trying for now in future? Yes, sir. In future, I have applied for a uh, CDS, sir. And uh, last time uh, for AFCAT, I lost uh, by one mark in cutoff. Okay. So, I am trying for next AFCAT exam. And I have cleared my INET exam, sir. Okay. INET stands for? Ah, uh, Indian Navy Entrance Test, sir. Okay. Good. So, can you tell us uh, who is the admiral of Indian Navy? Yes, sir. The admiral of Indian Navy is Admiral Karambir Singh. Sir. Okay, fine. So now you are trying technical entry. So can you tell us, like, uh, if you clear, if you become officer, what kind of jobs you will be having? What kind of nature of the job you will be doing here? Yes, sir. Whether it is in army or in navy, sir. In army. You know, in army there are uh, engineering course and there are uh, mechanized uh, regiments which are handling artillery things. Maybe I will get a chance in working there also, sir. and uh, nowadays we have we could see that india is moving towards indigenization and i think i can uh, import my part of uh, knowledge and my skills towards it sir okay okay fine uh, so can you tell us three international affairs and three national affairs yes sir i will start with the international affairs the international affairs is the recently seen as the, uh, the belarus election results there was a violent clash uh, between the two parties and the 
present uh, party who has been in uh, six periods, uh, they have uh, done something wrong in elections, have been claimed by the people. So there is a uh, riot in Belarus. And the next thing is that uh, uh, UAE has uh, signed a uh, remarkable deal with Israel, which is Abraham Accord, sir, which is a gain for two countries. And the next uh, thing is that uh, Russia has given us uh, first vaccine called Sputnik V for this uh, corona pandemic. And the national news is our uh, inflation country is the hot topic is Prashant Bhushan's uh, conduct of court case, okay. as he has given uh, some points regarding it. And the next uh, national news is uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Sonia Gandhi has been re elected for an interim Congress chief. Okay. And the thing is, yes, sir. What is the capital of Belarus? Uh, Can you tell us what is the capital of Belarus? Yes, Belarus is Minsk, sir. Okay, fine. Minsk is capital of Belarus. And uh, what is Sputnik? Uh, Sputnik is the Sputnik Five is a vaccine given by Russia to the world, sir. It has claimed that it has tested its uh, vaccine for the pe peoples, including uh, Putin's daughter was also given a shot. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Can you relate regarding Sputnik? Yes, sir. The Sputniks has been uh, name of satellites which uh, Soviet Union and later Russia has been launching, sir. Okay. Fine. Uh, any three national affairs? Uh, na national affairs, yes, sir. I will say that uh, the hot topic of national in India is the Prashant Bhushan's uh, conduct of court cases. Sir. It has been uh, now a thing as uh, Prashant Bhushan has uh, refused to do to get an apologies. The next one is uh, Mrs. Sonia Gandhi has been uh, re elected as an interim chief of uh, Congress party as leader. Mm. And uh, the, 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 uh, the other thing is that uh, Ramesh Pukhril has uh, faces uh, several uh, opposition for conducting NEET and uh, JE exams in the September months. Sir. Okay. Uh, what is the capital of Assam? Assam capital is Dispur. What is the capital of Meghalaya? Meghalaya Shillong. Sir. Okay. What is the borderline between India and China? The border between India and China is the McMohan line and the correct uh, line is known as the line of actual control. Sir. Okay, fine. Can you tell us the land boundaries uh, bordering India in anti-clockwise direction. Yes, sir. Land boundary in anti-clockwise direction. Yes, sir. I will say that. Myanmar. Uh, Myanmar is the neighboring country. And uh, the next thing is Bangladesh, uh, China, uh, Nepal, uh, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. Sir. Okay. Fine. Uh, you have mentioned that uh, you help your father uh, for a mechanic uh, shop, right? Can you please tell us about yes. it? Yes, sir, sure, sir. Sir, my father, along with my two paternal uncles, uh, owns a workshop, sir, named by Three Star Automobiles. We do two wheeler works there, mm -hmm. uh, specializing all types of vehicles, except the high segment bikes like uh, Ducati, Kawasaki. Uh, right from my class eight, I have been an assistant for my father, sir. Uh, like uh, from starting from class eight, I will be doing some sort of things like taking tools and getting some tools for him. And then it gradually in increased my desire, and I started uh, basic works like puncture general service work. Now I'm now I think I'm capable of uh, surely assisting my father in his all, all parts of works. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I want to register points. Uh, like speaking in a ministry point of view, I think I am external minister of my shop sir. because uh, now for uh, dealing with uh, oil shops or any spare works as a representative of my shop, I will be going there and uh, doing some dealing works. Okay, okay. Uh, see, there are a lot of oils like uh, castor oil, shell oil, right? There are a lot of uh, yes, oils. So, which one do you prefer? Yes, sir. In our workshop, we mostly prefer uh, the castor oil, which is 20W40 grade. Uh, it's, it gives better results as we compare the uh, oils of uh, L or shell or castor oil. The castor oil gives a better results for bikes, and customer experience is also good for it. Okay. You do only the bike service or any four wheeler, three wheeler also? No, sir. For four wheelers and three wheelers, we do only puncture works, sir. not a uh, main part of works. We will do uh, small works like punctures, and uh, if uh, there is some starting trouble, uh, my paternal uncle will handle it, sir. Okay. Usually, it is found in uh, vehicles, you know, when it is uh, bikes. There is some problem called as knocking. So, can you please tell us about knocking? Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Uh, knocking is, uh, is a, a un 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 unwanted sound in engines, sir. It may happen due to some. Uh, foreign particles or any unwanted particles in the fuels. 
it will it will go and uh, get stuck in between the combustion chamber which gives an uh, unwanted sounds it can be reduced by using a uh, correct form of petrol okay anything else as yes, a uh, due to the use of uncontrolled the combustion may not be full sir so it leads to nothing okay what is octane number and ctn number yeah as yes, a uh, sir i am not getting now sir i will surely tell you okay what is the difference between petrol engine and diesel engine as yes, sir in petrol engine it is called as a spark ignited engine sir there will be a spark plug associated with the engine Uh, when the during the combustion stroke, the spark plug gives an uh, uh, spark to the fuel, which gets the combustion. In diesel engine, it's an uh, compressed ignition engine. Sir. The diesel's uh, compression point will also uh, it will give the fire for the combustion. These are the different. Okay, what is CRDI? So it's a type of uh, flow in. Uh, Engine, sir. Uh, I couldn't get the correct expand abbreviation of it, sir. It's a type of injection method uh, which injects the fuel into the engine chamber, sir. Okay, good. It is used in which engine? Petrol engine or diesel engine? I think it's used in a uh, petrol engine, sir. I'm not sure about it. I think it's used in petrol. Engine. Okay. What is meant by camber? camber yes, sir it's an uh, it's associated with a uh, four wheel sir it's an angle which is used to see whether the tires are in a proper inclination or not sir it's a cam you will say that it's a camber angle sir inclination of tire with a king pin uh, set up in the wheels sir. good uh, arvind i would like to know how much you scored in 10th standard how much you scored in 12th standard your favorite teacher in 12th standard how much you scored in your engineering your favorite subject in engineering the teacher whom you like most during your engineering and after engineering what you are doing and your hobbies your interest your positive and please tell us about your girlfriend yes, sure sir so starting from my 10th i i have scored a, a percentage of 94.6 percentage in my 10th standard sir and in 12th i have secured a 94.5 percentage and the teacher i like the most is uh, mr polnivel rajan Who is my English teacher? Sir. Rather than a teacher, he is a well motivator. Not only for me, he helps in uh, helps in guiding all the village uh, peoples for their education. So I like him the most as he guides me in all point of uh, studies. Sir. Next, coming to my college semester, I have uh, an aggregate CGPA of seven point eight out of ten. Sir, in college, uh, mostly I, I like uh, all my staffs. They are being helping hand for me, especially Mr. Uh, Param. Doctor V Paramasivam, who is my HOD sir, and also my guide, he he has has helped me a lot in my project works and uh, guiding me. Sir. What was and, your uh, after, what was your project in final year? Yes, sir. My project in final year was a uh, mitigation uh, mitigation of wear in two wheeler gears by coating techniques. Sir. Okay, what are the types of gears? Yes, sir. The types of gears are spur gear, helical gear, uh, bevel gear, worm and worm wheel gears. Sir. And there are other gears called herring mode, which is a part of helical gears. Okay, can can you just tell us ex, uh, application of bevel gears? Bevel gears, sir. Bevel gears are used for a perpendicular part of application, sir. For transmitting, uh, for for perpendicular transmissions, uh, bevel gears are being used. Hmm. For example, it is used in differential of cars hmm. on uh, trucks. Sir. This is the applications of bevel gears. Okay. Suppose if I want to manufacture a spur gear, what is the process? Yes, sir. First, we have to do for its application, sir. Whether it's an uh, high endurance application, and we we need uh, some calculations for it, sir. Whether uh, what's the speed of what will be the speed of vehicle, and what's the power or torque required, and based on that, we have to design the number of teeth. And the main thing is the module of gears. Module of gears is an uh, ratio between the number of teeth and the uh, Diameter of the gears. Based on these calculations, uh, we can design a gears, and the tooth profile can be uh, created out based on the calculations. Yeah, you have uh, told us about the technical terms like torque. Can you explain what is torque? Yes, sir. torque is a uh, basically it's known as a turning force, a force required for turning an object or uh, turning a thing. It's a torque. Sir. Okay. 
learning uh, course. Yeah, I would like to know. Suppose if I have a uh, suppose a raw material, okay, and in that I am I have all I have used all the formulas. I have the data sheets. Okay, number of teeth I am going to declare. Okay, all the radius, everything, torque, everything is ready. Now I want to manufacture that gear. Okay, so where will I do it? In which machine? Yes, the, manu the manufacturing of gears are uh, different methods. There is a machine known as gear hobbing machine or uh, gear shapers. And uh, even in uh, some plates, they, uh, they do manufacturing of gears. Uh, yes. the, the most preferable is the uh, gear hobbing machines. It gives the most precise gears. Okay. In, uh, in that lathe machine, you have a lead screw? Have you yes, seen it? Okay, so what yes, kind of screws are used there? Sir, I'm, sir, pardon, sir, I can't get you. What kind of gears are used in lathe machine? The lead, the lead screw is a type of uh, warm and warm mill gear, sir. It's a uh, long spindle which is uh, it's known as a warm and it's driven by a uh, gear, sir. Warm gear. Okay. In shaper machine, what is the mechanism used? Yes, sir. In the shaper machine, the mechanism uses tumbler gear mechanism, sir. That is, the ram will move uh, move, uh, move in a forward direction with a cutting and the return stroke is a no return stroke. It's a, it's a quick return stroke. It's also known as quick return mechanism. Yes. I would like to know about the mechanism, the no, link, pair, chain. You might have heard in kinematics of machinery subjects, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so there yes, I would like to know what mechanism goes there. Crank sir, it's an, uh, yes, sir, it's a crank and slotted lever mechanism. Yes, good. The, the lever is slotted, uh, the lever is slotted, and the crank, when the crank is rotated, the slotted lever moves uh, forward and, and returns uh, as fast as the uh, forward strokes. Okay, here we found that in 10th you have scored 94, again in 12th it is good, but in degree, uh, the percentage is drastically falling. Why is it so? In degree, uh, in while in studying in school, I have not uh, done any uh, extra activities or uh, participated in events. Uh, while then coming into college, I have been went to some symposium or uh, some presentations I have participated, sir. And I have created, uh, I have given to journal papers for my professor's work. So while they are participating in these works, uh, I, have, I, have, I have tried to maintain my academic set, but uh, the score was the decent score, I think so. Okay, okay. Uh, what is Newton's second law? Yes, sir. The Newton's second law uh, is an, uh, it gives a formula that the force is uh, equal, if force is directly uh, proportional to the Acceleration, sir, and we get the formula known as F is equal to M A C. Okay, good. Continue. Yes, sir. In my uh, in my college days, uh, all professors were uh, kind to me and were more and motivating me. Uh, and my favorite is uh, Dr. V. Parmasivam, sir, who is my guide. And in uh, in my college studies, the most favorite subject I like is strength of materials and uh, design of machine elements. These are my favorite subjects. And uh, after my college, uh, I have been doing uh, freelancing work as I have some expertise in uh, uh, software, 3D modeling software and 3D analysis software. I was doing some freelance work and also I guided my, my juniors with, uh, with support of my professor. They, they told to approach me, so I will be guiding their uh, projects for their work. Sir. And uh, as the uh, same side, I have been preparing for my defense. Good. What is meant by Hooke's law? Yes, Hooke's law. The Hooke's law is basically explain within only the elastic limits within that elastic limit the stress produced is directly proportional to the strain and the obtained in the particles this is Hooke's law okay good what is meant by young's modulus yes sir. the young's modulus is an uh, ratio between the stress and the strain sir and it has a value of uh, the stress that is newton per mm squared yes good what is meant by yield stress Yes, I'm, I'll show I'll, I'll uh, type in the same answer. Yield stress is the maximum that when the elastic object can withstand the, below, beyond that yield stress, it will lead to a point uh, where it can maybe fracture at any point of time. The max the ultimate stress. Okay, what is mean by cantilever beam? Yes, the cantilever beam is an uh, beam uh, which is supported at only one end, sir, and the other end is free. Okay. What are the types of beam? Yes, sir. The beams are of different types like simply supported beam, overhanging beam, 
fixed beams and uh, rollover beams rolling beams okay what kind of beams are used in uh, bridges sir the, in bridges I, i guess the beams used are overhanging beams hmm. since you are uh, experienced in uh, maintaining uh, automobiles and all so what are the components basic required for a chassis to be built in what are the components sir? components are, are materials sir. components components as yes, uh, the chassis forms the skeleton of an automobile sir in which the all parts of uh, all parts are mounted in the chassis the front portion will uh, hold the handle bars and suspension system of the vehicles and the posterior end which is also known as stay stay of the vehicle holds the rear wheel okay. and the center portion uh, what kind of uh, suspension system are used in front tires and what kind of suspension systems are used in back tires rear tires yes sir in the front suspensions the suspensions uh, use mechanism is a uh, fork mechanism sir. and uh, nowadays the, the suspension used are telescopic uh, suspension system Okay. which undergoes an uh, is a uh, thing which uses fork oil for a free moving sir. and okay. and in the rear the spring suspension is used sir. okay which law is used in telescopic cylinders yes, sir i think i guess the pascal's law sir i'm not uh, i think pascal's law is used in uh, this one, okay and what about rear tire yes, sir the rear tires are uh, sir, rear tire suspension is made by the springs which is known as shock absorbers sir which uses uh, nitro gas and nowadays uh, the vehicles are used with the mono suspension which is uh, kept under the seats sir. it gives a better uh, suspension than the two springs okay the uh, which kind of uh, suspension systems are used in automobiles like trucks and buses yes, sir they i guess they are using a suspension system of uh, bigger springs i am not sure about that i think they use a uh, bigger springs and uh, dark tube uh, things like i heard something okay, what about trains yeah sir i am not uh, sure about it i will tell it in later i'll see it later okay okay continue continue yes, sir uh, after uh, i was studying sir uh, as you asked my my about my girlfriend i don't uh, have any girlfriends as i'm being a mechanical guy i'm not accustomed to speak with girls but okay. uh, but during my hackathon project i got a uh, a uh, two elder uh, elder ones they were uh, in my team as a project members so i have spoken to them only and not with other girls okay okay fine what are your hobbies yes i will say sir. my hobbies are, are uh, i have a lot of interest in a lot of ways sir. so servicing a two wheeler is uh, basically my first uh, preference of hobby and i will doing it with along with my father and paternal uncles and the second hobby is that i would like to uh, visit places uh, wherever i go i would take a picture of that places and i would write to review it in the google i have heard about that lo- google's local guide so i will take a picture and make a review of that uh, places wherever i go okay good uh, you have told that you are the external minister of your uh, mechanic shop right so yes, you might have uh, went for a purchase for bike tires yes sir yeah so if you are going for a shop how how will you mention the specification of the tire how will you do that Yes, sir. Uh, basically, the tires uh, have the numbers like 90 by 100 is written, sir. It refers to that uh, bike tire, bike tires uh, diameter and the the rim size, the internal size, sir. It will be mentioning that. So, if we want to uh, get a tire for a scooty pep, we will be saying that uh, 215 or 17 like that, sir. We will mention the tire specification. And most of the shops they recognize uh, when we say the bike's name, they will give the exact tires. Okay, which company so tire no is still now? Yes, sir. As my father uh, don't compromise on quality, we will choose the first priority as MRF. No other tire brands we will be recommend for the customers. Very good. What is the full form of MRF? So I am not getting it, sir. I will see in till later. Sir. Okay. Uh, can you tell us the rankings of Indian Army? Yes, sir. The rankings of officers, sir. Ranks. Yeah, ranks yes, of sir. officers. Yeah. Yes, sir. A commissioned officer gets a rank of uh, lieutenant, sir. and then he will be promoted as captain and then as major and then as a lieutenant colonel then colonel sir and a brigadier uh, next will be major general then lieutenant general and then general sir then next uh, higher post is chief of army staff 
and the honorary post during the war time is uh, field marshals okay how many field marshals uh, india has seen till, till now i guess two sir field marshal sam monisha and field marshal km kariyappa sir okay which day is celebrated as indian army day sir indian army day is celebrated in january 15th sir why sir i am not i am not getting it now sir date okay which day is celebrated as navy day sir i guess uh, navy day is celebrated on december 7th sir it's a uh, the cause for navy is a uh, winning of operation trident okay what is the motto of indian navy the motto of indian navy is sam no varuna sir which is uh, let uh, lord varuna be auspicious on us okay fine what are the different missiles in india yes sir india basically has its uh, ballistic missiles and cruise missiles the specifically the india's uh, strength is uh, the brahmos cruise missile which we have and then we have missiles of ranging agni series prithvi series and we have uh, procured a uh, missile from uh, other states also sir. from israel like barak missiles and our indigenous uh, naka missile is also in process okay fine so which regiment would you like to join if i give you a chance to become an officer Yes, sir. I would like to prefer the parachute regiment of uh, Indian Army, sir. Okay, where is the headquarters of parachute regiment? The headquarters of parachute regiment is in Bangalore, sir. Okay, okay. Your favorite soldier? Any officer? Yes, I think my favorite soldier, favorite soldier is uh, Captain Vikram Bhatra, sir. Okay, tell me something about him. What are the qualities you like in him? Yes, sir. He as an uh, youngest commission officer of Jack Rifles, he has been a war hero of uh, Kargil, sir. his motivation is that uh, to lead his members in a correct manner and uh, obey his uh, elders uh, or authorities rules sir. and whatever he takes uh, what do you say uh, he is the greatest uh, sacrificial uh, person sir, according to me that are the things uh, i think okay uh, india has tri service command in two places can you name them is yes, the tri service command is in one one is in uh, andaman nicobar islands sir. Hmm. and the uh, next service tri service command i am not getting it i have seen till in the future sir. okay what is the capital of pakistan hey the capital of pakistan is uh, islamabad what is the capital of pakistan is Isla- like the islamabad islamabad sir. okay good who is the president there the president is uh, mr imran khan okay and prime minister Sir, I'm not getting the same. Okay. Uh, since it is ma- past uh, four months that pandemic situation is going on, so can you please tell us how have you spent your time in this pandemic situation? Yes, sir. Sure, sir. As a pandemic time, uh, the lockdown has been has been exposed. Our shop has been uh, shut for a while, sir. But uh, due to some uh, customers' uh, insistence, uh, we do some works by late night and give them the delivery. And apart from that, uh, in my family, we will. Uh, I have some time spent with my siblings and my family. As my family is a great uh, joint family, I have more than my family members. Sir. So we will be uh, taking care of us. And my mother, who is a really caring person, uh, gives all sort of uh, herbal drinks, uh, which will be uh, boosting immunity. Sir. And my routine, uh, and my routine is uh, I will get up early in the morning, sir, do some sort of uh, physical exercises, and I will get engaged whether there is any work. In my house i will finish all my household chores and start my start, start my preparation sir in my house we all dine together uh, for all the eat, eating sir for there is morning breakfast and uh, lunch and dinner we will dine at the uh, same spot and we will have it uh, equally sir. okay how do you uh, manage your pocket money yes, sir uh, basically i don't uh, get uh, pocket money is my from my parents sir. But after uh, my college Uh, because I ha- have been doing freelance work, I have some money. I will spend it only for my family members. Rather than I won't get any lavish things and all. If it's a reasonable thing, I will help my brother or my my sisters. If they ask for some snacks, I will uh, uh, due to some resistance, I will order them for a Zomato or something. Okay. I'll spend it for my siblings. Okay, good. Uh, this is your first attempt in SSB. 
suppose if you don't yes. get chance if you don't clear this ssb what will you do sir i think i have done my all my previous uh, tests well i hope i will be recommended this time sir and i am not uh, going to be get a honorable i am sure that i will be recommended this time sir. okay why would you like to join armed forces indian army yes sir, as i was saying that after my college i have been uh, not in the position of deciding once in that time uh, different system created a curiosity in me and uh, i started searching about it so basically uh, in my friends group i motivate uh, others and i motivate others i motivate uh, them for their causes so i thought that when i am getting the uh, when i am getting into armed forces i can inspire a lot now we could see that there are lack of officers in our defense forces and lot of youths are not showing their uh, path towards defense forces sir. so i thought when i am when i am selected for defense forces i could inspire them and i could at least motivate uh, some guys to join their uh, the, to make their idea towards defense forces and uh, as a defense force uh, personnel i can contribute uh, things to my country and rather than a job it will give me a life so okay. i prefer joining defense force okay good suppose if i ask your friend about you what will he say yes sir yes sir sure sir uh, if you ask my friends they will say that uh, he will be our mentor and he will be always a uh, motivating guy and uh, he uh, he dislikes uh, speaking uh, negative things like a pessimist and uh, he will care for others they will tell me. okay so can you tell me which regiment was involved in the galvan valley fight sir i the in the galvan valley fight the regiment was bigger regiments okay can you tell me which officer died i said uh, colonel uh, sandosh babu sir okay he was from he was from uh, telangana sir okay who is the chief of defense staff chief of defense staff it's general bipin rawat sir okay and who is the chief of indian army chief of indian army general uh, manoj mukund narmane sir okay he belongs to which regiment he basically belongs to a sikh regiment and also he is uh, a para is okay. a para okay good good arvind uh, i hope uh, the interview is over now would you like to ask anything no sir no question no sir okay thank you all the best thank you thank you sir now i'll give you feedback okay just 5 minutes yes sir